And the first thing we need to do is make sure our radios are what's known as VFO mode or variable frequency oscillator mode. This allows us to input the frequencies directly. And so I guess as a first step, uh, before we do that, we want to reset the radios to factory defaults. And the way we do that is to press the menu button and think of the menu button as the return key on your keyboard computer or your computer. Um, so you, anything you hit, the menu key will bring up the menu. You make changes and immediately hit menu again. And that's sort of like hitting the return key. If we hit the menu button, uh, if we want to hit, set it to factory defaults, we use the down arrow until we see reset all. And then we hit the menu button again. And then you hit the menu button again. And when you see source question mark, you hit the menu button again. Key, the menu key presses must happen in fairly rapid succession. Otherwise, it will revert back to um, frequency mode. If you hear Chinese, you did it right. Now we have to wait. Now we have to teach it English again. So right now, every setting on the radio, there are 40 settings. It's now factory set the way that we want. Factory set. And so now that speaking Chinese, we have to like navigate to the point where it says uh, language. And fortunately, the menu is in English and not Chinese. Underneath the battery icon, you see a flashing number when you hit menu, a flashing number. It starts out with one, two, three, four, so forth until you get to 40. What we need is uh, menu option number 14 which is V-O-I-C-E, voice. So you... Okay. Okay, see so voice, C-H-I is voice Chinese. At that point, you hit the menu button and then you hit the uh, any up or down arrow and hit the menu again. When you hear confirm, you're in English. Okay, now when you hear confirm, our radios will speak English from now on, but every other setting is set at factory settings. Okay. Um, and so squelch, which allows <coughs> either all the noise or some degree of noise to enter into the radio, it actually allows weak signals to be heard. Uh, if you set it squelch zero, you'll get complete noise all the time. As soon as you turn on the radio, you'll hear noise. And a lot of folks, you know, might not want to just hear noise all the time. Uh, the factory default is to set it at five, which is midway in that noise range. I set it at one which is the setting where it allows the most signal while suppressing the noise in the background. So I want to make sure that we get as much signal as we can into the radios. So I always recommend setting it at one. So you do that by hitting the menu button and it might say hey, voice now, but you have to like hit the down arrow until you get back to squelch. SQL. So SQL, once you hit, get to SQL, hit the menu button again, it highlights that number that's there and we press down the one, uh, the up or down arrow till we get to one. And then you hit menu again and the radio will say confirm. So we hit this, like uh, everybody hits that, just keep enter the frequency using the keypad. 144.101 and then hit exit. And then I hit the uh, AB button again, and that then highlights the lower number 
which by default is 470. And we just repeat the process. One, four, four, 101. And then hit the exit button. And so we completed both the upper and lower frequency numbers should read 144.101. So then I hit the AB button. There's a little thing, a little triangle known as a carrot. And that carrot should be next to the top number, 144.101 on the top number. And that's just switchable by hitting the AB button. So it either highlights the top or bottom button, and we want to highlight the top number. And once that that's done, basically that's it. Okay, amazing, John. So right it's there, great. the radio, yeah, the radio's all factory defaults. Right, perfect. Okay, that way we're all researching with the same setting. Yeah, same settings.